quiet, everybody. I want to call for a moment of silence for Alex Villalobos, the original uh, bass player of Crematorium, who actually named the band back in uh, 1993. So, just a couple moments, everybody, please. Everybody on the bar side, please. Just, uh, I know you can fucking hear me. I know you can fucking hear me. This man meant a lot to me. He spent a lot of time on the road, so I just want to call for a couple seconds for him. Anybody who's ever lost somebody, we know that pain. So, let's let ten bells of the fucking ring happen real quick for him. I will keep this going until you shut up. Alex, you meant more to me than most people will ever know. And this song has to do with the parasites that live in this world who don't shut the fuck up when we try to have a fucking moment of silence. This is dedicated to that table over there. Next time when your fucking family has a death in their family, I hope someone talks at your funeral. <laughs> and I wrote in his fucking apartment talking about the repercussions of war and how the United States government doesn't take care of their veterans. This song is called Blood Wake. Oh, my God. 
simplest construct of humanity. We're fucking humans, dude. There's no difference between blacks or Jews or anything. You fucking, are you really that fucking stupid in this day and age? You will sit there and worship memes? And sit there and fucking put bullshit out on the internet? And you want to still pretend that there's a master race? The only mastering that's going around is a masturbating that you're doing on Facebook. And I hope you get a fucking one million year band. So, this has to do with the fact that I'm here, probably a cousin I never fucking met is standing in the back. This one's called Six Degrees of Degradation. Coming out 
And there's a lot of people here that are a part of a new generation. And I respect you guys for coming out. Remember, metal, punk rock, whatever it is, is a subversive movement that teaches you to teach yourself what you think. And a man like Alex went into the service and he went through everything that they taught him and came back out and said, I live God free. And even though I love my United States government, they're not always speaking for me. That teaches you about real thought, real process. Don't always believe what they tell you. They're trying to separate you. They're trying to make us hate each other. That is what they're trying to do. In this day and age of fucking Trump people and fucking Obama people and fucking Hillary Clinton or Bernie or all whatever the fuck it is, at the end of the day, they don't go home with you. Remember, our government really does want us to kill each other off. We are the ones on the bottom. So, remember, go back to the 50s, man. We used to be able to call your Polish friend a Polak. Or somebody like me, as I'm Sicilian, you'd be like, hey, look at that fucking WAP. But at the end of the day, we would fucking be there for each other. We would fight on the blocks with each other. Remember that shit. The shit that we try to, they're trying to teach us to forget about is also the shit that used to make us unified. Remember, when we march on the monuments of fucking Washington, we need all of us, not half of us. This song is called Testicular Fibrosis. It's a little beef song that I wrote against fucking Disturbed when they came out and said, are you down with this sickness here? When we became into fucking metal all of a sudden. So, fuck them. And fuck everybody who tries to tell you that you're not worth something.
little fucking lots of them. Hey, baby, you ever done heroin? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You fucking little buzz for rad. But your dick doesn't work when you do it. So you're like, oh, heroin feels so good, but oh, what happened? These two songs were, uh, this is a bunch of stuff that we went through when we recorded the For All Our Sins album. With uh, Our producer was a guy who uh, produced the Melvins and a bunch of other shit. And it was, uh, it was our heaviest album, our rawest album. And a lot of the death metal heads were like, that doesn't sound death metal. But it was heavier than shit because we blew up most speakers. So we kind of redid it having to do with my heroin addiction. And I come out and I tell people that I was addicted to heroin for a long fucking time. And I fucked over a lot of people. And I disappeared for a while. And I always uh, make amends for that. But sitting here and, you know, remembering Alex and everything, it makes me realize that those times, even though they were fucking horrible, at least I had this band that kept me through. And this song that reminded me that I could be something that came back. So again, everything about tonight is about Alex and how he fucking helped somebody that was a horrible piece of shit like me. So this song is called Six Degrees. No, hold on. See, that's how much heroin I did. Season of the Nothingness, the heroin sessions, the rewrite. Yeah. 
Something stuck in my foot, whatever. I got to think it's another one. Oh, I want more. I want more chili dogs. Just because you asked for it, not because I'm fucking out of breath. Thank you. Yeah, I heard him outside. Remember when I'm looking like I'm fucking fat, looking like Jabba the Hutt? Say one more song, like yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. You did. You did your job. Yeah. Yes. He's wearing a job for a cowboy shirt. Crematorium took, took job for a cowboy and suicide signed us out on their first tour. Before there was a thing called death court, and it used to be called murder court, and uh. Alex was part of that. Alex helped birth the fucking a scene. When I first fucking, the first time I ever came into, uh, actually the only time I came to, uh, to a trial for crematorium was in like 1994 it was. After going to a bunch of punk rock gigs and eating frozen burritos that we stole from a store and we put it on top of my car and we thought that they would like just reverberate and like cook on top, didn't work. And uh, I came in and showed up and I was just, I talk about his bass, and I was in there, I was like, dude, I was a punk rock dude, I mean, I love death metal, but I was punk rock back then, and I was like, god damn, dude, I don't think I could sing for a band like this, and he was like, hey man, you like Yapo? And I'm like, fuck yeah. And we started talking about Whittier punk rock, and a bunch of the shit, and all the thrash bands, and all that shit, and uh, it's a lot of memories in this, in this room, man. I've been fucking like legitimately fucking like busting myself and crying over the last two weeks about this. Like Alex meant a lot, and to, and to him, just make sure you love the people while they're here, man. Tell us to his brothers. Sister back there. I appreciate everything you ever taught me. He was a veteran and a seat vet in this. There's nothing wrong with being a man and crying. Remember, we are here when we're here, and he can never say sorry. This is our last song, man. It goes out to Alex.
Thank you.